Hello, everybody, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a super fun book called It's Okay to Be Different. It's okay to be different. This, this guy has blue face. She's yellow. She's yellow. He's green. They have all different colors and all different hairstyles, right? But it's okay to be different. And this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the author and illustrator is Todd Parr. And he actually lives here in the Bay Area in California. He's local. It's pretty cool, right? Let's see. We have purple. This is the title page. It's okay to be different. Looks like a lot of different people. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. You might be missing a tooth too, huh? That's okay. It's okay to need some help. See, she has some sunglasses on. Those mean that she might be blind. and She's using a dog to help her get around, but that's okay. It's okay to have a different nose. Look at this elephant and look at his nose. Do we have noses like that? No, but it's okay. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be a different color. So this is a typical zebra that's black and white. And this is a rainbow zebra that has green and red and yellow and blue. But it's okay. It's okay to have no hair. So some people might not have any hair at all. And that's okay. It's okay to have big ears. Oh my goodness, look at those rabbit's ears. They're so big. Do we have ears like that? No, but it's okay to be different. It's okay to have wheels. See, this kid has a wheelchair to get around. Maybe he can't walk, so he uses a wheelchair. And that's okay, so it's okay to be different. It's okay to be, there's lots of different sizes here. It's okay to be small, medium, large, and extra large. They might be different from you, but that's okay. They're all different sizes. It's okay to wear glasses. Some people wear glasses because their eyes don't work so well, so they have to use glasses, and that's okay. It's okay to talk about your feelings. This says purr, roar, grr. Sometimes it might be hard to express ourselves, and we don't really know what feelings we're having, but that's okay. We can try to express them and try to tell other people what we're feeling. If we're sad, if we're angry, if we're happy, if we're hungry, if we're lonely or frustrated, it's okay to talk about your feelings. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. They might fall in the water, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to say no to bad things. These are two fish and they see a hook. What do you think that is? I think it might be somebody fishing, right? But they don't want to touch it because then they might get ended up in a snack. They don't want to get caught. So it's okay to say no if there's something bad like a fish hook. It's okay to come from a different place. This is an alien and he came from outer space. And that's okay. Look, he speaks some words that that's not even a language that we know. It's just a lot of letters. So he might have a different language, come from a different place, and that's okay. It's okay to be embarrassed. Hmm, sometimes I get embarrassed too. Maybe if I walked out of the bathroom and I had some toilet paper stuck to my foot, I might be embarrassed, but that's okay. It's okay to come in last. This says finish, so this is a race. This little turtle might have been the slowest one in the race, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay if you're the last one in the race. It's okay to dance by yourself. This guy's having a dance party all by himself. That might seem silly, but it's okay. It's okay to have a pet worm. Look, there's a little worm, and here it says worm. So it's okay to have a pet worm. Maybe most people don't have one, but that's okay. It makes you special if you have a pet worm. It's okay to be proud of yourself. If you did something really well, like you wrote your name or you drew a picture or you opened up a snack by yourself, 
you would be proud. And it's okay to be proud of yourself. It's okay to have different moms and to have different dads. See, not everybody's mom and not everybody's da dad look the, the same. These have really big hair. This one's green. This one is wearing glasses. They all are different types of people, right? But it's okay to have different types of moms and dads. We're all unique. It's okay to be adopted. This little guy is a dog and this is a kangaroo, but he was adopted. Then that's okay. It's okay to have an invisible friend. Sometimes we have friends that aren't even real. They're just imaginary and that's okay. It's okay to be um, have an imaginary friend and they might be invisible and maybe only you can see them and that's okay too. It's okay to do something nice for someone. Huh, this is a cat and this is a mouse and it looks like the cat is about to give the mouse some cheese. That would be really nice. It's okay to be really nice. It's okay to lose your mittens. Uh-oh, what happened to the snowman? He had some mittens and then they fell off. And it's okay to lose them. It's okay to get mad. This is a skunk. And the skunk is making some pretty bad smell. And it's okay to get mad. Sometimes I get mad too. And that's okay. You're allowed to get mad. And mommies and daddies and grown-ups are allowed to get mad. We're all allowed to get mad sometimes. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. Wow, this kid is treating himself to something really cool. Let's see how many ice cream scoops he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten scoops of ice cream, that's so many. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. There's a squirrel, and that's a person, and the person is helping the squirrel to collect nuts. That is so kind. It's okay to have different types of friends. We have friends that are all different shapes and sizes. And some friends aren't even people, they're even dogs. And that's okay. It's okay to make a wish. This is a dog and he's making a wish. Maybe he's wishing for a bone because he really wants to eat a bone, right? Or chew on a bone. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Love, Todd. That's the author, Todd. And that is the end of the book. So we all might look different and we might do different things and have different emotions and different families and speak different languages and be from different places. But that's okay. It's okay to be different from somebody else and to be your own unique person. Okay, friends. Bye. See you next time.